Okay, so for questions, then I think we can go to that our original application and we can see you okay. the next page. This is our next page and this one if we see, we have completed it till here. Now it is lookup management. So we click into the lookup code management. So here if you see, this is the interactive report. And in this one, if you see, click into create lookup. So we will get one page. Create lookup. If you click into edit. Here, like two pages will open. One is this page and one is like this separate page. So we will see. Now, if you see right, it, it looks like master detail. This is a master and it is the detail. But both are on the same table. So first we will design our create page like this one. And then we will design the subcategory part. So we will go to the application. We will create a new page. First, we will go to the database. Where do we have the database for this one or not? So this is our table. We look up. So on this table, we will create our lookup code. This is the table so in which if you see as of now, there is no data. So on top of this one, we want it to create. And in this one, if you see right, we have two ID. One is the ID and one is the parent ID. So with the help of these two, we can be able to identify that. Okay, with so here parent will come and here that child will come. So first we can create that application from the scratch page. We know it is an interactive report. So in the previous case, we already saw how we can create from the scratch. So this time we will not create from the scratch. We will use the form here also here. And we can give the name as lookup code management. This is the lookup code management. Then okay. if you see the next one, right? In this case, if you see when I'm clicking cancel. If you click going to create lookup, right? Pop up is not opening. What is opening? It is a page only. So it means like that form, right? So it is not a drawer. We can make that also as a page only. So it means like our report also should appear as a table, complete form, and the form also will be able to a complete page. This is create update lookup code. So we can copy this name and we can put this in there. So now we have given the name for both. Now from which table it will be? So it is a lookup code table. This is our table. Navigation, breadcrumb is going to the administration. And for navigation also, admin is going to be there. And you can see the symbol. It is the settings option. So we can see the option. So this is that option which we have. So we can use and say gives. So we can go next. Primary case ID. Now click into create page. Now we can click into run the page. So now if you see. Our lookup code management screen coming, and here also it is coming. Now, if you click, then the next page also is coming, and this is coming as a separate page only. It is not coming as a pop up. And in this one, below we have this cancel and wait button. Now, so what we can do, we know that in this case, if we see right, cancel and wait button are the, at the top. So, we can start using the application. So, first, we go to the Lookup application. And this one, first we wanted to move this button to here. We can see in our main application, it is create lookup. 
So this option we can put in the top. Go to the page number 30. This is that place. So we can change the position to breadcrumb. And here slot will do three. And this is clear. In the attempt to we can define it is a success. And okay. Now we can run the page again. Now our screen is written better. Let's look at this coming here. Now we can go to the page. And in this one, we know that we have these buttons. So these buttons we want it to move here. All the buttons in the breadcrumb. Before to the like you should come with this also. So if you see cancel, delete, and apply, so this button also coming in the top one. In our case, all the buttons are coming into the bottom. So we can go to the page 14 also. So these are our, our buttons. So we can change the position. So these buttons as of now into the create update region. So what we can do, we can select all one by one. And we can change the position of these. Now, create a great lookup details to breadcrumb. Once you put, now if you see all buttons are coming into the breadcrumb. Now we we'll see the page, how it is going to appear. So if you see cancel and create button on the coming here. That means this is the correct way. For the two options, we will see once we have any report, we will come from that edit page. But as of now, our create and cancel button is coming as it is, as expected. <laughs> cancel, create recovery. Oh. the color of this one. The second is like we wanted to make this page also a little bit better. So here the page is like all the informations are coming. First code shortening coming, then all four fields are coming here in the case of create. And in the case of update, then audit informations are also coming. So we can design the page now. Short name is coming into the complete row and rest all informations are coming into the below. So short short name. So for this one, what we can do? We can make the date. So if you see parent ID is not available, so we can just make the parent ID as hidden. So these columns we want it side by side. So we have selected all these four columns and we can disable this property start moving so once we put then what will happen like all the records will come here now we can run the page to see how it is coming so if you see it is coming everything here only so for this long name also we have to put that condition so for this one we have to say start new row so that okay but for rest three it is okay so for this one we can Enable the property again. Start new row. So it will come in the bottom. So if you see the board short name is coming and trust for fields are coming like this. Same thing we wanted to do for this else. So how we can get we can look into trust fields and we can remove this condition. So if you see now here, like that also is coming. We can run the page again. it is working fine now now we can make the changes here so these two are having like bigger text area so we can make these also as a text so we can say long name and description both are as the text area so we can click text field and run the page so now our page is coming more better compared to previously.
So we can put here name and long name, short name, and other thing. So what I will do, I will create the record. So I will create first like dummy data only. So I will say one. Same name I will put in all three. Active from date as of now we put suppose one and this is the yes. now you can click into create so row created and here also we are getting now if, if you come back to this one if you see our cancel delete and apply pages also coming and these are also coming so we can fix these codes so first of all this created by and created by should be there select list component and user salary disable these now we can select all four and we can make all four as a read only This is read only here, so we can make this as always and wrong. These records are read only. We can go back. We can click into this edit. Now, if you see widget trainer, create one and update it by this. So we can change the date to second. Okay, I change this. So, created by also is coming. We can come back to the page again. So all those informations we are getting here. Now if you notice one thing, in the case of create, we don't want to disable this. So we already know how we can handle that one to the server side condition. So we can write the server side condition for all reports. Scroll down. If it is a server side condition. And I will say item is none. We put in ID. Now run the page. Okay, so this is item is not in So if you see, we are not able to see that. So if we do cancel, now if we come back, we are able to see these informations. So that is okay. But when we are coming from this screen, right, we want our lookup short name also to disable. So if you see in the this case also, this is also is disabled. It means like we can create this lookup code one time only. After that one, we cannot modify the lookup code. The rest all information so we can modify, but not this lookup short code name. So what we can do, we you know we have the property for that also. So we can come to the short name. So if I will do server side, right, what will happen? Either it will disable, like either it will appear or it won't appear, right? It means from the screen only it will remove. So in that case, what we can do, right, we can put the read only. So again, we can put read only and we can say item is not new. The same way we can say when P4 IT ID is there, right? So that time it made it made this as a read only. So we can come and we can see. So if you see as of now, this is open. If you go back, come back from this one. If you see the lookup port, this is disabled. So that is what our we are looking for. Now we have achieved all the things. We can change the color of these. Success. Save. Okay, click it. Make this as a transition. So we need change just cancel. So everything is working fine now. Now if you see for this also we have the color look up code details. So how we can put that one? So for that also we can do the quick edit. We can go for this one. And here if you see we have one property of accent. So this accent property will give the color of this. So if I will give one, you see it will give the different color. 
as we change the color will change so we see no color is changing so you can select whichever color it is required so we know we need the green color so we can say accent 5 will be the green color we can make a light changes what if you see our screen looks better compared to the We go back and refresh the application so that all the changes will be reflected here also. Because we are able to achieve whatever is required. Now we can see the labels starting from there is actually to be so everything is correct here. We can go cancel and this is also so we can fix this page also. On here, updated by updated by and this based on the future side of the same. So, in the data type of Format mask. Run the page again. So now these informations are coming to you. Well, we wanted to change the button also. So we already have this button. We just wanted to change the text of this one. New slash. We want you to make our success not danger. We can take the complete code. And go for the look of code management attribute. And here we can so now we will run the page. So it is coming as expected now. So if you see, we are able to achieve. Now we have achieved the first part. Like this, up to here we have achieved. Now the next part is this subcategory. So if you see this subcategory, right? What is it? Is it is a like interactive grid. It means like add subcategory we can do here only. So it means like we have to create this as a interactive grid. So we'll see how we can create the interactive grid. Or we go to the page number 14 back. This is our page. So we wanted to create one more region after this one. So this is going to be the subcategory. So we can give them on us. This is our interactive grid. So we can define interactive grid from which table. So this is also going to be on the same table lookup board because for master detail we have the same table. We are not going with a different table. In the table only we have one column as providing. So we have done with lookup code. Now we can run the page again to see the changes. If you see, it is coming. So whatever record which we have right that record also it is coming here so let it be as of now but we want to make the changes here so we wanted to create those buttons first so for the button creation we already know we have to go to the attributes then enable editing so we have enable we can remove this one add row if empty and we can change the button also here we can write so, and now we can run the page. 